What's up guys, what's going on? Camp out coming at you with another review. As you can see, we have Reebok Classics in front of us, and if you can't see them in the corner, those are not Beatles, they are Bolos. So let's just open this bad boy up. This is the Club C from Extra Butter times Reebok for the prom pack, obviously the men's version. I did wear them already, so let's just knock all that out. You can see all the extras, let me take it out so you guys can get an idea of what the extras look like. I'm gonna close this up and show you the size real quick. Just because I got a 10 and a half, they did run a tad bit big, and as always, I like my fit a little bit snug, so that's what I did, 10 and a half. Very, very comfortable shoe. Let's just get that out of the way right now. Very comfortable. I was surprised at how comfortable this, it, it's so simplistic and basic that I was like, it can't be, it's gonna be like a three hour wear at most, but it, it's very, very comfortable. We'll get into some detailing. You got ornate embossing on the upper portion and the midfoot here. You can't see it. Oh yeah, you can't see it. So the, the shoes are based off of the prom theme, but the prom theme is based from Pretty in Pink, which is a movie called Classic. Great movie, but the end scene is a prom scene, and uh, one of the male characters is wearing this suit. The suit jacket has this design on it, so instead of pulling the color, they pulled the design and threw it in here, which was a great hit. Extra butter always pays attention to the details. You got this very, very, very buttery, cream soft leather across the entire shoe, which is another reason why it's so damn comfortable. They, they definitely killed the shoe comfort-wise, look-wise, for whatever you're going for. I do have a black flat wax lace in this shoe right now, but the other shoe has the white flat wax lace in it. Uh, nice little detailing on the agalit. It says extra butter. I'll take a picture so you guys can see a little bit better. And the other tip says Reebok. That's on both of them. And there was a third lace option, which is a basically a rope wax lace with the same embossing on the tips. As you can see, it's rounded. Bing, bang, boom, but it came with the bolo on the shoe. I'll take a, I'll, I'll actually use one of their pictures and so you guys can see exactly what it looks like. But uh, I, I kind of like the flats in there. It's a little hard to use the bolo with the flats. Let's get the rest of these laces out of the way since they're already on here. And uh, you can see from right where you're looking right now, they have this nice little pre, uh, paisley print on the footbed. One footbed says Reebok, the other says EB, just to get that all up in there. Um, I mean, it's a very, very, it's simplistic, but it's clean. You got a nice little perforation across the uh, the toe box mid area here. Everything else is that soft, buttery leather. You got a white midsole, and then you got a white outsole as well. But it, it's, it, I just, I, I was just amazed at how comfortable the shoe was. Uh, I think they were 130, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, 120. They were 120 and like 130 after tax. They dropped today online, which is Saturday. They're probably gonna be released on Sunday. So if you're watching this, they released yesterday. <laughs> you got that, uh, that print again on the heel counter area, which is the only other place that doesn't have that soft buttery leather, but it's still very, very comfortable. The, the inside liner is very simplistic. You got a very soft buttery tongue as well. You got a hit of EB on the back side of the tongue on this side. I'll take a picture so you guys can see all this stuff a little bit more clear because it's black on black, it's a little hard. Uh, Reebok stitching on the outside portion of the tongue. Soft leather on both portions or both sides, inverse of the tongue. You got a little hit of Reebok branding here and the flag, and uh, that's the shoe. There's a, a female version as well, which I'm gonna show you guys real quick too, since it was a prom theme. And uh, yesterday they had their boat ride, so while I'm taking the shoe out, I'll tell you about it. If you're not following me on Snapchat, you probably didn't catch too much of the party that they threw, but it was spectacular. On a boat, through the city, or, or around portions of the city to the Statue of Liberty and back, nice little three hour ride. Uh, everybody had a great time, it was a good vibe, everybody's cool. If you know the Extra Butter people themselves, you already know uh, exactly what the environment is like. Really cool, really down to earth. I'm gonna zoom in just a touch for you guys to get a better look at this. And this is the uh, NPC UK. They were $85 is what they retail for. As you can see, they're worn already as well. You got a little wear and tear on this side. The entire shoe is satin. The laces are satin. As you can see that little shimmering sign or that little shimmery look to the entire shoe. The, uh, the rest of the shoe is satin as well. You have a lace hit in this portion. Like I said, the, the, shoe is, the shoes were based off a of prom theme from Pretty in Pink. The dress that the female lead wears, uh, Andy is her, her name I believe. The dress is constructed by her and the upper portion has lace. So they pulled a lot of good details from the movie and put them on the shoe. You got a little hit of leather across the Reebok logo. 
and you got a pink outsole as well. Satin laces, satin shoe, inverse or the medial side and lateral side are mirrored. You got a hit of Reebok here and I believe the tongue has a hit of Reebok with the EB behind it. Just like the men's shoe. Try and get you in there, I don't know what's going on. But I'll take pictures so you guys can see them a lot better. And Reebok on the outside and then the inverse on the other shoe so the EB's on the outside and then the Reebok is on the inside. You got a floral print on the footbed. Very, very clean. One says Reebok, just like the men's, and one says EB. Very, very clean. You got lace options. Like I said, the satin came in there, and then you got a pink cotton and a purple cotton. I think the satin looks the best, but if you want a little color pop, you could throw the purple, you could throw the other pink, whatever you're in the mood for. Either way, very cool, very clean, um, dope collaboration. And aside from it being a collab, like the, the shoes are like really comfortable, which is uh, a lot of things that people fail to see when you're buying stuff. Like, oh no, I just like the way the colors look, but you can't wear the shoe, so what does it matter? But anyway, hop on it. If you guys aren't following the social channels, I'm sure I got my little window up by now, and you're seeing Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. So just hop on there, and if you haven't done it yet, please hit that subscribe button if you like the content. I'm getting out of here. Peace.